on going on and on with that beautiful song in the midst of it all. Woo! Can we look back at our life and see that even though we went through so many hard trials and it seemed like we were by ourselves. Oh, no, no, no. The Lord was with us. That's from 1999. Wow. Almost 24 years ago. Yeah. And the words are so blessed. Let me share them with you a little bit. Happy Thursday, March 9th. I've come through many hard trials, through temptations on every hand. Though Satan tried to stop me and to place my feet on sinking sand. Yeah, he was ready to just uh, try to clobber. But through the pain and all of my sorrows, through the tears and all of my fears, the Lord was there to keep me for he's kept me in the midst of it all. Eh, it's not because I've been so faithful. Oh my goodness. Not because I've always obeyed. No, it's but not because I trusted him to be with me all the way, but it's because he loves us so dearly. He was there to answer our call. He was there always to protect us for he's kept us in the midst of it all. Oh, hallelujah. I've come through. We've come through many hard trials, through temptations in every hand. Yes, and it goes on and on. No, he's never left us. He's never let us fall. Yes, he has protected us. Isn't that the truth? That's our testimony today. Now, the only reason we should be reflective of the past is to contemplate on the Lord's faithfulness, what he has done for us over and over and over again. But we have to be careful that we're not stuck in regret, stuck in all remorse. Oh, and you know what chapter we're on. I was reading this last night. And in Philippians 3, 12, I do not claim that I have already succeeded or have already become perfect. No, none of us have. I keep striving to win the prize for which Christ himself has already won me to himself. Of course, my brothers and sisters, I really do not think that I have already won it. The one thing I do, however, because of the Lord's faithfulness, it is to forget what is behind me, is forget all of that and do my best to reach what is ahead. So I run straight toward the goal in order to win the prize, which is God's call through Christ Jesus to the life above. Isn't that beautiful? And it goes on to talk about how we are to keep on imitating, well, our ultimate example, the Lord, and then we become models so that people can look to us, our lives. This is so important because so many people are stuck in ruminations of regret and remorse. And I was so encouraged yesterday. I didn't even know that it was a special holiday yesterday, but I got this text message from my son and it pretty much is a holiday that I didn't know. Happy International Women's Day, mom. Yeah, because we're in Women's History Month. But he further typed, I am grateful to have such a strong and caring mother. And although I was missing a man as a guide, I can confidently say, hallelujah, that my, I said hallelujah. That my mother did an awesome job raising a man. Listen, single mother, single parent. If you're doing this all alone and it seems like you have no support, God is in the midst of that situation if you allow him. If you invite him and acknowledge him in everything that you do, Lord, I can't do this. I don't know. Don't you know that he will help you? Uh, confirmation today with my tea bag. They have sometimes a little tags and it says, accept who you are in this moment, present, but acknowledge who you want to become, future. So the only reason that you will reflect on the past is to recount God's faithfulness. But as far as, oh, I wish I had this and I wish I had that and if only, no, the past is gone and you can never recapture it but you can focus on now and later, hallelujah, and know that God will be in 
both of them. So press toward the mark. Another version says, yes, for the prize of the high calling of Christ Jesus. And our goal is that we may know the Lord and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. I count all things, <laughs> right? Verse eight, but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord. Nothing out here is worth value. Everything perishes. Everything we see in the physical <laughs> will be gone, but only hold on to that, which is eternal, which is your relationship with Christ, right? Because when we focus on that, which is sinful and, you know, carnal and our appetite, it says that when we become the, we don't want to be an enemy of the cross of Christ in verse 18, whose end is destruction, that temporary stuff, whose God is their belly and whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly temporal things. No, but we shall be changed out of this vile body that it may be fashioned unto his glorious body according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Oh my goodness, if that's not encouraging. So let's change our focus, y'all. We know, we know it's hard out here. Even if you're married, if you're doing it alone, if you don't have any kids, it's a lot. But we keep our gaze, our focus on the Lord. Yes, and he... He'll continue to be a haven. He'll continue to be our all in all. In Psalms 9, we would have gone to that. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed. Yes, a refuge in times of trouble. Whoever you are, single mother, grandmother, if you're doing it alone, grandfather, single father, whoever, single person who wanted to be married, look, the Lord will be a refuge. And they that know thy name shall put their trust in thee, for thou has not forsaken them that seek thee. So now we could go on and sing praises to the Lord, hallelujah, who dwelleth in Zion. And he'll make it so that we can abide and dwell under the secret place of the Most High. Hey, thank you, Father, Lord, that you replenish, you refurbish, you renew us day by day, Father. You are so faithful. And Lord, you are in the midst of it all. Even when it seems like we are less than or our circumstances are not ideal. Father, Lord, you have paved the way. So Lord, we'll just continue to follow you with rejoicing. We know that we'll safely reach our, our heavenly home and we will be able to, to enjoy your favor and your blessings and your presence here and forevermore. In the name of Jesus, we pray as we worship. Amen.